Hey guys and welcome to another Divi Mega Menu tutorial. My name is Roby and today I'll be walking you through how to create and style a Mega drop-down module. Now this feature is awesome because it allows you to create nice nested menu items within your regular WordPress menu. Now we won't be covering everything in this video, so if you need more help, please refer to the documentation at help.divienginecom or contact our awesome support team and they'll reach out to you to help you out as soon as they can. Awesome, let's get into it. Alrighty, so to create and style your first Mega drop-down module, we're going to head over to the Mega Menu page. Now if you're not sure how to create and assign your Mega Menu to the WordPress default menu, don't worry about that. Just head back to the documentation site where we have a video that explains exactly how to do that. Now once you've got your Mega Menu open, go ahead and add a Mega drop-down module just like the one we have here on the screen. Now once you've done that, don't forget to hit that save button. And just as a note, at the moment the Mega drop-down only works on a Mega Menu position under the default WordPress menu and not on a Mega Menu position using the tooltip or pop-up as we like to call it. Alright, so the next step in getting the Mega drop-down module to work correctly is to make sure that there's a WordPress menu that it can use. For that, we need to head over to the menu section in WordPress and you can either create a new menu or utilize an existing one. As you can see, I'm using a menu here named Dropdown Menu 1. The Knives Product category is added as a parent item with two products, Chef's Knife and Bread Knife as children. The Chef's Knife has two colors added as grandchildren menu items. You can create a menu of any number of items arranged using the parent, child, grandchild logic. Awesome, so now we go back to our Mega Menu and open up that Mega drop-down module that we added earlier and choose the menu that we just created. After that, make sure to hit that Save button. And now we get to check out our work. So going to the front end of the site, you can see that when we hover over the product section here, you'll see our Mega Menu expand below it. This is a great feature to enhance any e-commerce website especially when you want to add loads of products with a lot of categories to your main WordPress menu. Great, so now that we got to look at what our Mega Menu looks like with a Mega drop-down module, let's go ahead and look at what styling options are available to us. In addition to the normal Divi styling options, we've added two extra features that allow you to specify the width of the parent and child menu items as well as the direction of the child menu. If you would like your Mega drop-down to overlay, please add the custom CSS class DMM-Overlay into the menu as seen in the video right now. Add it to the child menu item with the grandchildren. I hope you found this Divi Mega Menu video helpful. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, remember you can always check the documentation at help.diviengine.com and for more complex issues, definitely contact our support team. Alright guys, that's it from me. Catch you in the next video.